watching Cox Connections, only on Cox 11. The American Red Cross is always there in times of need. One of their most critical functions is assuring an adequate blood supply during times of disaster. Here to talk to us today about how you can help with the blood supply is Bernadette Jay. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having us. Thank you. What are the benefits of donating blood? I think when we talk to our generous blood donors, they definitely relay to us that they feel a sense of gratification knowing that them taking an hour out of their day um, to help patients in need um, could certainly help to save up to three lives. Up to three lives mm -hmm. from one person's blood donation. Yes. That's yeah. incredible. And of course, blood can't be manufactured, so yeah, donations are the only way that we can have a blood supply. Exactly, and I think that is something that is so important for folks to realize is that blood can't be manufactured, it must be donated. So we certainly need um, healthy donors to go out to the nearest blood drive and make certain that they roll up their sleeve um, to donate blood, especially in the summertime, particularly during the holidays, because that's when we tend to see a decline. And of course, the need for blood never stops. Um, every two seconds, someone in this country needs blood. Um, and when someone has a critical need, we need to make certain that that blood is available for the patients. So you were sharing with me earlier a, a personal story about the need for blood. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, absolutely. My uh, grandmother had knee surgery and during the surgery she had lost a lot of blood. And when the doctors and nurses came in, they said she's going to need a unit of blood. Um, and the entire family, I mean, we were just, we were watching her and she just really looked like maybe she wasn't going to make it, you know. Um, so the consensus was, yes, absolutely, whatever she needs, let's get that to her. Um, and looking back on that, I'm just so grateful that someone took time out of their day to donate blood because it was available to her um, while she was in the hospital in that moment. Um, long before she scheduled that surgery, the, the blood was available. Folks may not have family members available who can run in to roll up their sleeves, so it's important that hospitals have that supply on hand and at the ready. Yeah, and I think that that is um, important as well. That's a, that's a really good point, that when emergencies happen, blood needs to be available long before the situation occurs. Um, I think that sometimes we see situations happen, such as my grandmother being um, in the hospital, or we see things like the Boston Marathon bombings, and people want to go out and they want to get involved and they want to help. But it's so important to, to keep your appointments, to schedule your appointments to donate blood, um, and to make certain that you, you keep those, those appointments because, again, the need is just constant. It never stops. How much of the population is eligible to donate blood? So there's about 38% of the population that's eligible um, and about 8% of folks who actually donate blood. Only 8%? Mm -hmm. And why, why so few people donate? Well, a lot of people say they've just, they've never been asked. No one has ever asked them to donate blood. So um, for anyone watching, um, I just really encourage you to consider this your official ask. Um, come out to the nearest American Red Cross blood drive and just donate blood. So you have been asked, we need you. <laughs> yes, exactly. How can somebody find out if they're eligible? Well, they can go to our website, redcrossblood.org. There we have um, all the kind of um, questions that you may have about your eligibility. Um, if you're not necessarily website savvy, you can go and call 1-800-RED-CROSS um, and certainly we'll be able to assist you there. And um, you shared earlier that blood is needed in the U.S. every two seconds. Mm -hmm. Somebody who, for instance, is involved in a car accident, yeah. how much blood might they need? Um, someone involved in a car accident could need up to 100 units of blood, um, which when you think about going in to donate and you're only um, essentially donating one pint of blood, um, you know, and you think about the travels that we have and the incidents that we see on the roadways. It's just important to constantly consider donating. It really speaks to the need for yeah. every eligible person mm -hmm. to roll up their sleeves and donate. Yes, exactly. Does it hurt to donate blood? Um, <laughs> I think the most painful part, and you may be able to 
attest to this is waiting. Um, the wait is probably the most painful, but I think that um, when you compare that to the gratification that you'll feel knowing that you really help someone like my grandmother who is in need, um, you know, the pain just doesn't. And if you're worried about the needle, just pinch the underside of your arm, and that's pretty much what it feels like. We um, had an employee blood drive yes. here last week that mm -hmm. I participated in, and I know that you know it's that moment of a pinprick, but then it's done, yeah. and you're just letting the blood flow and doing something really good to save lives. Yes, exactly, and I think about that, and I've been to so many blood drives, and you see um, our donors there, and we think about phone etiquette sometimes. Bring your phone, bring some some earplugs, and just sit back and relax. Sit back and relax. Yeah, and, and if it's your first time donating, let our staff know, and they're going to give you the VIP treatment. What's the next step for somebody who sees this and they say, okay, I, I get it. I understand the need now. What do I do? How can I donate? Well, um, the first thing is, well, there's three things that you can do. You can go to our website, redcrossblood.org. Um, and find a blood drive that's happening near you. You can call, again, 1-800-RED-CROSS, and that will certainly alert you to the nearest blood drive as well. Um, and you can also download the Red Cross blood donor app. Um, and whether you're on vacation or whether you're enjoying um, holidays with your family, that'll also point you to the nearest blood drive. Um, also on the app, there's rewards and um, you know opportunity to find out where your blood uh, went to or when it was when it was um, used by a patient. Well, Bernadette, thank you so much for the work that you and the Red Cross thank do to help us. save lives. And thanks for being here with us today thank to talk you. about how people can get involved and support the Red Cross. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. When we return, transitioning into adulthood is difficult for any young person, but it's even more so if a youth hasn't had the kind of preparation that really makes a difference in adult life. Find out how these young adults are being helped when we come back with more Cox Connections. <music>